All right, it's race time. So, today feels kind of like a big deal because it's our first chance to race using Zwift Racing Score. So I'm jumping into the one that's at 10, 10 a.m. California time. And this particular time slot is extra interesting because they're using 10 different categories instead of five. So you have a, since the Swift is limited to only five categories per event, you've got a low end event covers the lower five categories. We got a high end event which covers the upper five. So I'm in the high end event, but just barely. I'm in the lowest category of the high end event. So uh, Swift computed everybody's initial racing score just based on power numbers and your body weight. So it's based on your 30 second power and your 10 minute power, critical power, and your body weight. And then you're scored on a scale of zero to 1,000. Higher is better. So my initial score, my seeding score is 570. Again, that's just based on power and weight. So that lets me race in this, the lowest category of the high end. That category's score range is 550 to 600. So my 570 kind of puts me right in the middle of that field. <laughs> Not a really big field today. Uh, I think, you know, big way because there's 10 number of riders has been broken into 10 groups. So where normal Zwift so category enforcement would have only four groups, we've got 10. Let me look at how many people have signed up. Just curious. So the low end event that's happening starting right now has 490 riders signed up. That's impressive. The high end event that I'm joining has 193 riders. 54 of those are in my category. Three minutes. So my guess, my guess is that if my legs are feeling all right, I should get kind of a significant bump up in points based on my result from this race because I have the added element of experience and strategic thinking. So everything else being equal, if everyone's just rated on their power numbers initially, I probably have a bit of an edge in terms of knowledge and strategy, which would mean that I probably am rated a little bit lower than I should be when it's just power. And then there's other riders who in theory are rated a little higher than they should be because they don't race smart. So their power numbers say they're really strong, but their execution is weak. But you have to figure into that, the added factor that Zwift said that the seeding score, the initial seeding score is a little bit low. They tried to err on the low side, so riders didn't jump in and just get blown away in too hard of a race. They want people to have a good 
early race experience. So we'll see. In theory, based purely on power numbers, I'll finish mid-pack in this group. But who knows? We're on the RGB route, which is a flat route. Not much that's lumpy in it, except for the little Aqueduct KOM. It's a twisty section at the end that's a little bit bumpy. <sighs> Draft and arrow power-ups today. We'll get, we'll get a bunch of those. We'll get four of those today. So make sure to use them. I'm gonna want the arrow power up for the final sprint though. But draft isn't too bad because it's nice and long. All right, this will be interesting. Riding on the Swift Ride frame with my Kicker V6 hooked up. My teammate Diego is in this race. He's a stronger rider than me for sure, so that doesn't bode well for me. But he's not a sprinter. He's a he's a guy who can go off the front and stay away. He's got that steady power. I'm running sauce for Zwift, so you can see the pack numbers and my draft savings. Ooh, hard to talk and ride. Three riders. Well, 41 left now. Switch to first person view because the default angle sucks when you have steering, everything's too crowded. There's Diago on the front, doing his thing. I'm gonna ease up. Try to let him get away. <laughs> and have some ride-ons. Make sure I don't pull the group back to Diago. that pace so far, but that's not surprising. Everyone knows the heart attacks are going to come on the aqueduct. On the aqueduct. Got to remember to use steering. Moving right along. 46 kph.
Somebody's hammering on the front. <laughs> My confetti socks today. Some of my ride ons give people confetti. Solid pace, but nobody's really getting dropped. Here goes an attack.
Here it goes. Knee selection right here. 33 riders starting. Two riders. <laughs> Pretty evenly matched group. <sighs> Legs feel nice and recovered now. Everyone's taking it easy. <laughs> Twisties are gonna hurt. Then testings. <sighs> One more power up. Got saved to the finish. guy strong he's riding off the front 
or on the front. Get out of the saddle for a bit. Ride through the Burgundy region of Swift Sprints. Looks like Napa Valley. Forty. Take the edge. Everybody's resting. Two-thirds done. Besties. <laughs> Spinning my legs.
a lot of guys with steering in this race. Will be a third of the field. Just a guesstimate. Might make the intestines interesting. Guy five seconds off the front. It's a heart attack. I can't chase it.
No racing score on the screen. Save this ride so we can see what it says about my score. Oops, still kind of out of breath. Uh, the finish is always so tough. The intestines just kill your legs, and then you got to sprint on top of it. Uh, all right, let's find a video. We'll post okay. Save. Ah. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So my score was five seventy. That was five eighty eight. So I went up eighteen points. I don't know what I figured would happen. Let's see. Pulling up the, uh, the results here. So my result, so going into that, my score was 570. My result was 594. Which ends up bumping my score up 18 points, even though my result was 24 points higher because they're doing some kind of averaging. <sighs> averaging their best results or something. Looking at the result list in Companion. Yeah, exactly what I thought might happen. Every single racer got a boost even the last place guy <laughs> the score went up too so that means that Zwift did indeed seed stuff a little low
I wonder, I wonder what Swift Power shows, if it's even going to process it correctly. It doesn't, Swift Power's ranking score and system is different than Swift, Swift's new racing score. <laughs> but curious if it would handle the categories correctly for that race. I am doing some scores. Let's see. Yeah, so it has me in category E. It says <laughs> doesn't have a result listed for me. Let's figure it out here. <laughs> Result 146.28, which I think is a little bit too bad of a result to give me a boost. Let's see. 146. Yeah. <laughs> my top one, two, my top five races are all better than 146. So. But getting that store doesn't help my Swift power ranking at all. Ah. Let's see, what do I want to run here? I don't want to run this quick one. A little recovery here. How about Maria? Nobody solves a problem like Maria. Yeah. How do you solve a problem? Yeah. How do you solve a problem? Let's go back to France. Huh. Oh, look at that. Oh, dang. Thought I was going to join right at the top of the KLM. Ah. Start the dual recording. Ah. Well, what do we think? What do we think of Swift Racing score? Uh, I mean, I guess you got to say that result there was you can't really ask for anything better in a race in terms of matching up abilities. So didn't have anybody, well, nobody broke off the front and just stayed away. And we didn't, we didn't lose a ton of people. There were 31 riders going into the finish. We started with, I think, 43. So that's a, about the right amount of attrition, I would think, on a flatter route. Pace was high, though for good sections of it. There were a few guys really pushing it. We're up with 47 kph zone. I don't know if it was just because they wanted to really push their racing score up or everybody was excited about that. It seemed more more animated than usual. I'm going to look at my overall course time. Definitely didn't set a PR on RGV, but I've done too many TTs on that route to PR it, I would guess. I know that I met my six week. Power best in the sprint at the end. 20, 25 seconds at six, seven minutes or so. Okay. 
it honestly doesn't feel that amazing, but I, I bet you all those all those PRs are based on race efforts. So my legs are already tired when I do it. Got some six week power bus right at the 30 minute mark or so. Anyway, solid power. Nothing amazing, but huh. Let's see. How about this? I'll pull up Swift.com and show the uh, results. I can get in. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> so, race results. Oh, there. Um, so the only, there we have to show all results. So, you can see here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Sorry, there's too many numbers on the screen. Uh, score, kind of the middle column here. So here's my result, 594, and the arrow just means that that's an increase for me. But if you look all the way down the bottom, every single rider got an increase. All the way to the last place guy. I don't know exactly what that means, but it's interesting. We can look at the other ones and see if they're the same. So next category up. We're seeing a lot of up arrows. Yep. Next category. Up arrows. Yep. Everybody's increasing. You see a single down arrow yet? It did not. There you go. So increases all around. That kind of makes my result not feel so special. All right, well, I'm going to do a write up about this. Because the Zwift story thing is a big deal. Interestingly, I should note, I got eighth place in this race. And I swear, I get more eighth place finishes in B races than any other place by far. It just seems to be my slot. Eighth place. Great work there. Consistency. See everybody, right on.